Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Hang on just a second. I hope you have your cup of coffee and you're ready for a tutorial. Hey, you can even work along with me and that's how you can learn even better if you actually do what I'm doing. Pause the video and do it. And if you have a phone, you can watch it on your phone and do it on your computer or vice versa. Anyway, um, we're over in Cricut Design Space and a gal named Di had asked on our Facebook group, how do you use those typography images in place of a letter? So let me show you what she means. She wants to make something that looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to show her how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to images and then, well, cartridges. And then you're going to type in typography. Hit enter. And two of these things come up. I love these Star Wars ones. I have a friend that would absolutely love them, but they're not free. These images are free if you have access. And if you don't have access, you know, I recommend you get it. I use it all the time. If you need a link to it, I have an affiliate link down below. Yeah, I get a teeny weeny commission for it, but it just helps me to be able to buy supplies for these um, tutorials or classes. So anyway, I'm going to use the typography right here. I'm going to view all 34 images. And the one that Di said she wanted to use was the baseball one. So I'm going to click on it to highlight it and then come down here to insert images. Okay, then the next thing I wanted to do is this comes in and if you look up here, it comes in at five inches high. I've decided I want to make it four inches tall. So I'm going to hit a four in there and hit enter on my keyboard. And I'm just going to move that over here. And the next thing that Di wanted to do is she wants it to say coach, but instead of having an O, she wants it to be this baseball. So I would come to the text tool and the text that I'm going to use, I would come up here and search fonts. I know it's called Extreme, and it's a Cricut Access font as well, and I love it. It's really perfect for sports. If you're making big jerseys with big numbers, this is a perfect one. Anyway, I like the one that is Little League, this one right here. Click on it. So I'm going to click in the text box and I'm going to put a C in there. And I'm going to click outside of that because that's all I want right now. I'm going to come to the text tool again, click on it, and write A-C-H for the rest of the part of the knit word coach. And click here. Alright. So the next thing I'm going to do is if you'll notice over here in the layers panel, there are some, some layers that are hidden. I don't want them hidden. I'm going to unhide it by clicking on this eyeball and that unhides it. Did you see what happened over here? Watch over here when I unhide the C, the gold C in the word coach. Click. There it is. Okay, I'm going to highlight both of these because I want them to be the exact same size as the baseball. So right now they're uh, only a little over an inch tall. I want to make them four inches tall. So I'm going to click a four in here. And of course the lock is locked and hit enter on my keyboard. Hey, there we go. Now what I can do now is move this part over here, grab the baseball and move it in here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach these things where I want them to be. So I'm going to get <clears throat> this layer over here. Notice they're grouped together, the gold and the blue. I'm going to ungroup them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to do the same thing on the C. I'm going to ungroup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the blue in the C, hold down my shift key and grab the blue letters over here. And then I'm going to flatten, no, attach, attach. And then I'm going to come and grab the gold letter here 
and notice it's selected over here in the layers panel, hold down my shift key and grab the gold over here. So I have two things selected and I'm going to attach. <clears throat> and now what that did was it moved this attach stuff up above. So I can move this layer up by simply dragging it. If I'm at the very top and I click on the word attach and hold my little left button down on my mouse and just hold it while I'm dragging it up. Do you see that little sign that says no? You know, the little red circle with the X through it or the slash through it. it means I can't drop it there. But when I get all the way up here, did you notice how it turned into something else? Look, here it's that. And if I move it up, it turns in. And that moves it up. Well, let me get it up there. Okay, there it is. And now it's up at the top. The other way to do it, of course, is to click on the gold layers and then right click on them and say send to back. So either way works. But this is going to be perfect now. Let's see if we make it. Let's see what's going to happen. So it's going to cut the baseball out and then it's going to cut these out and then it will do this and this. All right, well, I've made it way too big because I don't have a 12 by 24 mat, so I have to cancel this for my sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it smaller so it will fit. So I'm looking up here to see what the width is, and it's still too big. Uh, now it will fit. I just have to have this less than 11.5, so that should fit now, and if I go to make it, now it will all fit on the smaller mats, just like that. So this says it's going to cut out of gray. What is my... I have a black t-shirt over there for a sample. I'll cut this out for you, Di, and I'll put a, um, a picture of it after I iron it on underneath the video in our Facebook group in the comment area. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope that baseball cuts out nicely for me. Like I said, this is a test. So meet me back here. Bye-bye.